Hey guys, this is Steph Mischuk with KillerSites.com and KillerPHP.com. In this video, I'm going to discuss the different methods you have to deploy video on the web. There are several different options available to you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the easiest to the more complex, although they're not very complex. So when you're looking at putting your video on the web, the first thing you have to consider is the video format you're going to use. You see you got different w types of ways of packaging up video t for, uh, for the web. And you have uh, QuickTime, I'm sure you may have heard of that, it's the Apple format. You have uh, Windows Media format, which is the native Windows format. And you got uh, the FLV format, which is the uh, Flash format. And there's a whole bunch of other formats as well that you can actually view in websites on the web. The most popular today is the FLV format, the Flash Video format. Although that is now slowly being replaced by something called H.264. I know it sounds complex, H.264. But all the new uh, programs out there that are designed to produce video, to transform video, convert video to a web ready format, they're all moving over to H.264. So the first step to getting your video on the web is you've got to put it in a format that's viewable on the web. Though you can just put up QuickTime, you can put up uh, WMV, which is Window Media uh, video format, and you can put up FLV. I recommend that at the end of the day, you try to output your stuff to H.264. So what do you do? What kind of program, what program rather, allows you to do that? A lot of them nowadays. If you're using a video editing program like Final Cut Pro for Mac, it outputs H2, H.264. If you're using um, Premiere, it does that using QuickTime Pro, which is a tiny little program, 29 bucks, it does that as well. And the Adobe Flash Video Encoder, it now outputs H.264 rather than the traditional Flash movie format, the FLV. Even Adobe is now moving away from FLV, the Flash Video format, which by the way is the most ubiquitous format out there. 90 nine percent of web servers can watch FLV like this. Um, nonetheless, Adobe feels that the H.264 format is superior for several reasons, I guess. I haven't looked into the details, but uh, you know, if the makers of Flash believe that that's a better way to go, that's a better way to go. So, you, first step is you find a program to convert your video into the H.264 format. By the way, YouTube supports that format natively out of the box now. Um, and then from there, what you need to do is figure out a way to get it into your web pages. So if you're not a web designer, and even if you are a web designer, one option is to use YouTube or other video sharing sites like Blip TV, Meta Cafe, or whatnot. YouTube, for example, has now just uh, released a new version or an updated version of their player where they now allow you to upload high definition content, HD video tutorial at 720p. 720p is just how much HD it is. Not pure HD, but it's HD and it's really nice. So that's one option. So if you have videos that you want to put out there to the general public, you can put it on YouTube and then use the YouTube tools to embed them into your own website and it works. The only downside to that is that you get the little YouTube logo appearing there and if they click on the video twice or something it takes them to YouTube site. Sometimes that could be uh, something that's not acceptable and other times uh, for people it would be more than acceptable. Another disadvantage of course is that if you put your stuff on YouTube it's public, right? Whereas if you deployed it, uh, the video yourself, and I'll tell you how to do that next, it wouldn't be public. So it really depends on, on you and what your particular needs are. Before I leave YouTube and other video sharing sites, one thing I should also point out is that using the YouTube system to push your video on the web, you, uh, you save yourself a lot of bandwidth. That's huge. For instance, at Killer Sites and Killer PHP, 
we're moving collectively three and a half thousand gigs a month of, uh, of data. We get a pretty decent amount of traffic. A lot of that's video. So I started looking at personally deploying videos on YouTube because uh, you figure, you know, Google can afford to pay for that kind of bandwidth, you know? Finally, if you want to embed your videos on your site without using external service like YouTube or Blip TV, you can um, get a free flash video player. Just look it up on the web, you know, free FLV player. And they will play FLV, they will play H2, H.264, etc. It's very simple. You need to know just basic web design, basic code, because you're going to have to embed this player uh, into the page. And it's not that hard, really. And, uh, and that's, that's the way to do that way. So you would store your video on your own web server, and you, and you would actually store the video player on your web server, and you would embed the videos yourself manually into your pages. So that's the, the second option. The second option, of course, gives you more control. You can keep the videos private, but it's harder to deploy. Not much harder, but it's harder. And uh, you have to use your own bandwidth to push the videos. If your videos are, you know, 100 megs or so or less, it's not a big deal. But if you start pushing HD video, um, your web uh, host provider, your servers may uh, give you a call and, and start to. Uh, asking for a little bit more cash if you start pushing a lot of uh, data across the web.